What's going on guys? Astro here with Hidden Profits Crypto. Before we get the video started as usual, I want to give a huge thanks to everybody that's been supporting the channel. We broke 150 and we're on our way to 200 subs. I really appreciate the support and if you haven't joined the family already make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button so today's video is going to be a little bit different from our normal thing i wanted to take a look at chia which claims to be a greener bitcoin and more secure than ethereum so i wanted to go over chia look at the chia beginner guide on github and then afterwards i'm going to go over my plotting rig that i just ordered yesterday and show you guys the parts uh for my rig Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so uh, I've looked at a lot of sources. Uh, I've done quite a bit of research on Chia, and this uh, post on their GitHub just seems to be uh, the best information and the best, best explanation uh, for people who are newer to it, or, um, you know, I mean, a lot of people are new to it, but... If you've never mined before, you don't really know how this kind of thing works. Uh, it's definitely uh, something you got to learn and something you'll figure out with time. But that being said, this post here, I feel it gives the most information overall, you know, in the amount of time that we have. All right. So before you begin, keep it simple. Focus on learning what Chia is and how to make one plot. Once you do that, move on to doing more. It's easier to start simple than to do too much and get confused what went wrong. So I think that is definitely key. Looking through all this, it is very overwhelming. There's a lot of information and, you know, I'm a little ADHD, so it's hard for me to just focus on one thing at a time. I see all these different um, new things that I'm learning and I want to just, you know, grab pieces of all of them and put it all together and it just gets really confusing. So uh, start off with the basics. Uh, start off with just what a plot is and how to make a plot so we're going to go over that all right so the basics of chia uh, to get you started so what is chia the short version chia is a new blockchain technology where your computer creates plot files that you can farm potentially earning chia uh, the long version it's a new cryptocurrency that is based on the capacity of pre-stored random looking data that the user creates and stores in files called plots. With Chia, a very low resource intensive process checks plot files for proof of space and time. This makes Chia very fast and green. It is an improvement over proof of work blockchains like Bitcoin, uh, which rely on fast graphics cards and custom machines doing millions of calculations per second, wasting a lot of electricity. Chia also has improvements to scripting, scripting environment, cryptography, usability, scalability, and aims to be simple, secure, and a powerful blockchain. The Chia software is made up of several parts called daemons. Each daemon does different things. The main ones important to beginners are your node, your farmer, and the harvester. So the node syncs the computer with the blockchain. Uh, the farmer sends out proof requests to each harvester and then the harvester checks the plot to see if they satisfy the proof if you have the best proof uh, then you win the coins um, so we'll give a little bit better of an example um, with this a little later that will help you understand it a little bit more all right so what to do as a beginner so for now you need to focus on installing the chia software setting it up properly and learning how to make plots there's two main things to get working making sure you're connecting other nodes other computers with blockchains and syncing them and start making plots and farming the simplest way to start with chia is to install the chia software uh, so that can be found chia.net which has the blockchain right here that you can install uh, okay, so the simplest way to start uh, with Chia is to install it on the operating system of your choice. Uh, people use Linux and uh, Windows. So the Windows version automatically starts once installed. Mac just needs to be open from the application directory. Once the application is open, it loads, starts to sync with the rest of the network and the blockchain. As of writing this, fully syncing can take four to six hours and this will increase over time as the blockchain grows. So the more and more and more people that you're going to see that four to six hour time link probably, you know, increase to six to eight, even longer. Basically, you're syncing with everyone on the network, downloading the whole blockchain, which includes all transactions ever processed on the network. 
uh, the Chia blockchain database copy will be stored on your computer. Everyone with Chia installed on their computer also has a copy. Now we're going to get into farming. Now, what are the basics of farming? Farming just means that you have some plots and you have Chia software checking them periodically to see if they win proof. All right. So what is the difference between a gigabyte and a gigabyte? And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. You're going to see the unit GIB used a lot known as one gigabyte is equal to about 1.07 gigabytes. Most hard drives are talked about with GB. So keep that in mind. So when you are and that's also the same with terabyte, if you see TIB, um, it's not terabyte, it's tebabyte. Uh, once Chia is installed, user will use Chia application to create plots. Depending on the hardware, it can take four to 12 plus hours uh, to create each plot. Each approximately 101 uh, gigabytes in size or 108 gigabytes. The user stores these plots on the computer equipment and then farms the created plots for the potential to earn coins. Inside each plot is a large number of pre-formulated calculations stored in a large table spreadsheet of blocks called cells. You win potential coins by providing the winning pre-formulated code to allow the transaction to occur. The winning transaction is very quickly done within two to three seconds, and the user is compensated with coins to facilitate the transaction. Plots have many cells inside, so if there's so if one wins, there's still many left that can win. In many words, you don't need to delete a plot if you win coins. Plots can keep earning coins and plots are estimated to last over five years so basically uh the best way i can i can explain it and it's similar to the way they said it here but to put it a little bit more into um you know a, a situation you might be able to understand uh if you have farmland think of each square of farmland to just be filled with crops so each individual crop is basically like a pre-formulated code so now this code if it matches basically the answer then you get rewarded in coins so think of it like this if you have that one plot and you have all these crops on that one plot and well that one cr crop matches the answer well you just get rid of that one crop you still have all the other crops on that plot and the more plots that you have is more land that you have so the more land you have and more crops that you have to possibly have that answer the more chances you have of getting coins so hopefully that helps. I was explaining this to a friend and that seemed to help them grasp the concept a little bit better. So hopefully uh, that helps and doesn't confuse you even more. Um, and then we could go into the CLI, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to get into the command uh, command line interface because I'm not familiar with it and I've never used it. Uh, so I don't want to give information, um, you know, that I don't really know about. So setting expectations. Once you've completed plots and are farming, you will see a time to win coin in each farming tab. Whatever time it shows here is just an estimate. It might take three to four times longer than the time shown. For example, if it shows two days, it might take five or eight days, sometimes even more to earn your first coin or partial coin. This is normal as luck plays a role in the short run. As you add more plots, especially around after 50 plots, then the time to win gets a little more accurate and closer to the estimated time. So the more space you have, the more plots you have, the better chance you have of actually getting a coin. So if you only have 10 plots, then somebody with a thousand plots obviously is gonna have way more of a chance of getting rewarded with the Chia than you. If you wanna find help, you can check out this wiki here or um, they have a chat channel um, that you can get beginner help. So that's interesting if you wanna check that out uh, if you need any more help uh and then without going over the gui uh too in depth uh, once i get my system built and then we're actually doing it uh, i will go over this a little bit more in depth so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that anyways i wanted to get into the build that i'm actually going to be using uh so you can see i have a lot of this stuff uh it'll be here by tomorrow but um so i went with 32 gigs of ram i have the cpu cooler the uh 212 Evo CPU cooler for the i7 uh, 10700K, which has uh, eight cores and 16 threads. Uh, the more cores and threads, the more um, plots you can plot in parallel and things like that. 
Um, again, this is more of just an intro video of Chia to my channel. Uh, so as things go on, the more I learn, um, the more I will bring to you guys and help help you learn as well. For the SSD, which is probably one of the most important parts, I went with the Samsung 970 Evo Plus, uh, but I went with the 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe. So it seems from all the research that I did that the M.2 NVMe's are pretty much the best SSDs that you can get. Now, um, the 970 Evo Plus, uh, the two terabyte is a pretty good one and this should do pretty solid and pretty fast uh, plotting. But the Samsung 980 Pro was the other one that I was gonna go with. And that one I think is, is a bit better, but it's like $100 more. Uh, so I just wanted to go with this. Now, this isn't crazy expensive for a build, but uh, I wouldn't say it's budget because there's definitely lower priced uh, hardware that I could have went with. So if you guys are interested in a budget, uh, my personal budget build for Chia, then uh, leave a comment, let me know, and I can bring out a video for that if you guys want. And then for the motherboard, we just went with a cheap uh, gigabyte. And then for the power supply, I'm gonna be using a Corsair 620 watt power supply that I got off of a friend. And then I also have a HD uh, 7950 graphics card uh, that I'm gonna throw in here as well. Even though I do believe that the i7 10700K does have onboard graphics, um, I'm gonna probably just throw that card in there just for, just for the hell of it. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys Chia Decentral. Now, this is probably the best website and the best source uh, besides the GitHub uh, to find information and guides and all sorts of stuff. Uh, basically, anything you want to know, um, you'll be able to find it here. There's a lot of info on this site. This is a community RAN site as far as I know. A lot of information and definitely really helpful if you're new. So I'll leave the link to this down below in the description if you wanna check that out as well. Uh, that being said, I did want to take a look at this one real quick, which is the uh, beginner's guide of how to farm. Um, so if you guys were wondering uh, what is required, uh, we're going to go over that right here. So the prerequisites um, to farm Chia, you're going to need a working computer with Windows, uh, Mac or Linux or Ubuntu. Um, it's recommended to use a newer computer that has a SSD. Uh, so there's a note here that there's no need to use a dedicated computer to farm Chia. Use the computer you use regularly. Chia will farm Chia coin in the background. A desktop computer is preferred over a laptop because it's harder to move the laptop around with ex attached external drives. So um, that being said, of course, I'm building a, a plotting rig, but it's going to just be dedicated to that because I do want to get into this a little bit more and I want to get into it for the long run. Uh, now, if you just want to test it out and that kind of stuff and you have a decent computer, just go ahead and download the blockchain and just start doing it on your uh, computer. You could grab an external hard drive, you know, like an eight terabyte or 10 terabyte. Um, my first eight terabyte external Seagate, uh, I actually got for a hundred bucks which was a deal. So um, if you can pick something up like that and just go ahead and plug it in, then you'll have like eight terabytes uh, that you can plot on. Uh, you need a SSD, two gigabyte or 250 gigabytes or greater. You can also use an external SSD um, if your free disk space is less than 250 gigabytes. Um, an SSD is 10 times in read and 20 times in write faster than an HDD. So you're going to want an SSD uh, and not HDD because they take obviously a lot longer. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is an external hard drive. Um, larger sizes are better. Popular size is 18 terabyte. And then lastly, you're just going to need the blockchain software, which you can download on Chia.net or from the GitHub. Um, you can also find information on how to install uh, the blockchain, how to set everything up and all of that and how to get started uh, plotting right here on ChiaDecentral.com. So definitely check this out if you're interested in it. All right, so I wanted to quickly just take a look at an exchange um, just to give a little insight on the price or at least my personal opinion. This thing dropped at about $1,500 and came down to about uh, 560. So here you can see there's a support line. I'll go ahead and draw that for you guys real quick so you can see that. 
so that more or less in my opinion is going to be our bottom right there um you know we had two tests came down higher low and then we just shot up uh up to about over 900 dollars uh, that's pretty insane that it just shot up like that uh, overnight. Uh, I did see a CNN article, though, right here about Chia. So I don't know, man. I, I think a lot of people are going to they're it's going to catch their eye. If Chia ends up doing what they say they're going to do, uh, I think it has a very bright future. And that is why I actually really believe in it. And I want to get into it. Uh, we are at a resistance right here. So we might come down a bit or retest it and continue up further. But uh, I mean, the price of Chia is very speculative, but I definitely think it will head over a thousand um, eventually, if not in the short term. Again, not financial advice, just my own personal opinion. Uh, a lot of people thought Chia was going to be worth below ten dollars like seven eight dollars when it came out um and i know me personally when i was doing research into it that kind of pushed me away from wanting to get into chia but um i don't know guys don't let the fud don't let other people's opinions of stuff i guess uh stop you from doing what you want to do and following through with things uh so yeah i mean the price looks great hopefully it keeps increasing and we'll just go from there uh lastly i wanted to take a look at the google trends now i use google trends quite a bit uh it definitely helps show if people are starting to find more of interest into something so you can see here we basically have the same thing it finds a bottom and then it shoots up and then here um we just seen this breakout last night <clears throat> you can see chia mining is a breakout chia coin price um you know chia network cryptocurrency all this so i definitely think chia is gonna start getting a little bit more attention and i think if you're gonna get into chia farming and mining it's probably a better idea to just get your hardware now before everything skyrockets in price anyways guys that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed learning about chia and i hope maybe if you were on the fence about wanting to start farming or not that this video gave you a little information to help push you to one side or the other if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like and leave a comment telling me what you guys think about chia if you guys have a rig or you've already started farming let me know down below also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date with all the other Chia videos and helium mining videos that I'll have coming out soon. You guys can also follow me at hidden underscore crypto on Twitter to stay up to date there as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace.